September 2005. For the first time in nearly 40 years, oriental white storks fly freely in the Japanese sky, fulfilling a promise made half a century ago. The oriental white stork is on the IUCN list of endangered species, and there are only about 2,000 birds left in Russia and China. 100 years ago, storks flourished in Japan's paddy fields, but industrialization destroyed their environment. The stork population declined, and by 1971, none were left in the wild. Toyooka in Hyogo was the main habitat for Japan's oriental white storks. With extinction looming, this nature reserve was founded to breed the birds in captivity. It now has over 100 storks, separated into enclosures according to their stage of growth. The enclosures are remotely monitored at all times, and a careful watch is kept on each bird. Ah, uh, hi, hi. So, this is Staff take care never to come too close to the birds. This is to prevent them becoming tame and unable to live independently in the wild. When their much-loved storks faced extinction, the local people made the decision to capture the remaining birds and breed them in captivity. When conditions were right, the birds would be free to return to the wild. However, it would take many years before this promise could be kept. Russia helped the project by supplying wild birds for breeding. After successfully raising several generations of storks, the scientists began preparations for returning the birds to the wild. The first step was to improve the environment around Toyooka by converting the area back to traditional organic farming methods. The conditions required by the white stork also make the most healthy and pleasant environment for people. Our goal is to re-establish that ideal environment. The storks can live around humans, but it's a delicate relationship. We can't go back to the old rural lifestyle, so we must find new ways to live alongside the storks if they are to return successfully to the wild again. Once facing extinction, the white stork is now free to fly again. In keeping this promise, the people of Toyooka also restored their natural environment, making it healthier and more pleasant for the human community too.